When it comes to your DIY projects, are you Team Orange or are you Team Blue? Around here, we're always Team Golden. But I'll tell you at the end which of the two stores I prefer because when it comes to DIY projects, where does the hip chick go? Home Depot or Lowe's? So welcome to my outdoor space. This deck is a project we did two years ago. I hired a contractor to work with me. I couldn't handle doing all of this deck by myself. It was way too big a project. But I hired a contractor that would let me work with him every day. And in 24 years of doing projects like this around my house and 10 years of teaching DIY skills, I'm always asked, Home Depot or Lowe's? So you wanna know where the hip chick goes. Now, make sure you subscribe because every week we have content coming out from Hip Chicks. It's all about saving you money, stress, and time because that's what I focus on. So, let's dive in to nine quick facts that will help you decide where you want to shop next. First fact is shopping style. Home Depot is geared towards contractors. It has a very industrial feel to it. And that is where contractors all started going when the home centers opened so many years ago. Now, as Lowe's came on the scene, they offered more of a consumer-minded experience. So you might find that it feels a little prettier and more aesthetic inside of Lowe's and more retail and less uh, industrial. That is a very deliberate marketing tactic. So Home Depot is where the contractors go and Lowe's is where the consumers go. Now, some people might say that Home Depot is geared towards the guys and Lowe's is geared towards the girls. All depends on your take. Number two is lumber. There are a few things to consider when you're making a lumber purchase. Right now, the prices are through the roof, so be really uh, cautious and compare your prices before you make a purchase. But I find that Home Depot has a better quality of lumber. They tend to have um, actually better pieces, less damage, less warping, and things like that. But Lowe's sometimes has a more interesting option, and this is especially true when we're talking about trim work. Now, the other reason that um, you look for an advantage at Lowe's or Home Depot is when you're buying that trim work. At Home Depot, you can buy up to 16 foot lengths and cut them to size. So if you need 13 feet, you can get 13 and a few inches for your project. But at Lowe's, you can only buy them in eight or 12 foot lengths. So if you need 13, you have to seam. So you need to do your uh, estimates and measurements before you go shopping to make sure you have the least amount of cuts and it means less work. Number three is the staff knowledge. For me, where I live in Pennsylvania, I have found that the Home Depot staff are just more knowledgeable. I find more retired tradesmen working in the aisles, and that means when I need help, I'm gonna get better answers. I'm gonna get people who have worked in these fields and can truly guide me right down to the master electrician at my Home Depot that has literally drawn me diagrams, given me his card, and I have called him from my attic. So that kind of service matters. So you need to shop around and check the Lowe's and the Home Depot in your neighborhood and see which one of them is gonna give you the best staff that can answer and guide you on your DIY adventures. Number four is about giving back. And that's a big thing for me here at Hip Chicks. I wanna know what the company is doing in the community to um, help those in need. And both Home Depot and Lowe's both give back. They give back to veterans, they work with Habitat for Humanity, and many other smaller um, charitable projects. So that's important and decide who might be supporting what endeavor is most important to you. Before I get on to the next tip, I have to tell you, this is the kind of information that I deliver to my students in the Home Improvement Hero Academy. I wanna make sure that they have real practical information that will help guide them in every step of their project. Because the project doesn't just start with picking up the hammer, it starts with your project planning and your shopping and having the information you need to get it done right the first time. Number five is about the money. So when it comes to the credit card that both stores offer, Home Depot offers a credit card and it has a uh, 24 month financing option, which is great if you have a real big project and you wanna offset your fees. But 
Lowe's offers 5% off every day. So I do have a Lowe's card and I use it. I use it for the bigger purchases. When I have smaller projects and you know I might be saving two or three dollars by using my card, I might run to Depot. But if I am gonna be purchasing appliances or I am purchasing a front door like we did two years ago, I will be using my Lowe's card and saving 5%. Number six is about paint. And when it comes to paint, we have choices, often too many choices, and it can be a little overwhelming to make your decisions. For me, there is no competition at all. I will always choose Bear over Valspar. I used Valspar once, did not have the results that I've wanted. I have used Bear for years, I've had excellent customer service, and I find them to be very innovative with paint. But don't forget that Sherwin-Williams does have a line of paint within the Lowe's Home Center. But I'll be honest, I'm not a fan because I've used the HGTV line of paint that they carry on a project and I was actually quite disappointed. So do your research on your paint. But between Bear and Valspar, I'll go with the Bear. Number seven is about the departments and which store has more interesting uh, options in each of the departments. Now, like I said, Lowe's tends to have a more consumer shopping experience feel to it. So if you are looking for um, some accessories, some home decor, you're gonna find that more at Lowe's. There's very little of the home decor within uh, the Home Depot walls. But when it comes down to the hardcore DIY needs that I'm looking for, I go to the depot because I'm going to find tools that I like better. I'm also going to find building supply materials that there's just more there. And again, I find that people are more helpful and can guide me. Another plus at Home Depot is the refund on plants that you can buy uh, perennials and shrubs and if they fail within a year, you can get a refund if you keep your receipt and the pot. For doors and windows, I do have to say that I really like the Levelor uh, shades at Lowe's. You can walk in there, you can have them cut custom to size in the box and walk out same day with great honeycomb shades. I have hung dozens of those for clients and really love them. Now, they also have Pelodors, which you can get and go, which is kind of nice. And for Home Depot, they stick with the Anderson line of doors and windows. Number eight, during the pandemic, we saw the rise of the curbside pickup. And it's been really great. I know that I have used both uh, Lowe's and Home Depot curbside to get my jobs done when I didn't want to linger inside the store. Now, both of them have been satisfactory. I have found a few times that the Lowe's crew missed the mark on what I ordered and brought out the wrong product a few times, and I had to guide them as to what they were supposed to bring out. And again, for me, it's all about um, the education and the knowledge base of the staff there. Of course, both stores have great refund policies, and if you use a credit card to make your purchases, they can keep track and they can facilitate a faster refund. Now, of course, there have been some changes to the refund policies around COVID, so keep that in mind when you do your shopping. One thing that is great about the Home Depot credit card is that if you use their card to make a purchase, you have a full 365 days where you can make a full refund. And my last point is all about the dogs and about the dog friendliness of both home centers. My girl is always along for the ride whenever I can take her on a quick trip to the home center and she loves it ever since she was a pup. So for me, two thumbs up to both stores because they both have a very dog friendly policy, at least here in my community. And uh, it's always nice to see a friendly dog walking the aisles of the store. So when it comes to your DIY shopping needs, well, I'm gonna say that it's DFY. You have to decide for yourself. Which store will meet your needs? Are you looking for the beautiful aesthetics? Are you looking for some more interesting light fixtures? I find those at Lowe's. But when I want some hardcore information and guidance, hands down, I will always go to the depot. So you have to choose for yourself which store meets your needs. And of course, it varies based on the projects that you're tackling. So good luck in your DIY endeavors. And to answer your question of where the hip chick goes, I have to say, 
Team Orange.